Hi there, in this video I'm going to discuss tangents and normals. So first of all, if we're given an equation of the curve y is equal to f of x, so I have a diagram over here and the blue line is the tangent to the curve at the point a and b, so remember the term tangent, a tangent is a line which crosses a curve at one point and whereas the green line, the green line is the normal uh, to the curve at the point AB. Now a normal is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent and it passes through the same point as the tangent. So that is what we mean by the term normal. Now in order to work out the gradient of a curve, so the gradient of the curve y equals f of x at any point is given by dy over dx. So to work out the gradient at any point on the curve, all we do is differentiate. So if we differentiate y equals f of x, dy over dx will be f primed x. And the gradient of the curve y equals f of x at the point a, b is given by and I like to call that gradient m1, so m1 will be f primed a. So to get f primed a, all you need to do is replace the x in dy over dx by the x coordinate of the point. So in other words, we're replacing the x in dy over dx by the x coordinate, which is a. So by doing this, you're working out the gradient of the curve at the point a, b. Now there is a condition which is very important, the gradient of the curve at the point AB is also defined as being the gradient of the tangent to the curve at AB. So this is a very very important point. So going back to the method for calculating the tangent equation, to work out the equation of the tangent at AB, now remember the tangent is a line and we know the crossing point of the line so the crossing point of the tangent in this case is AB. We also have the gradient. So in order to work out the equation of the tangent, we use the formula for the equation of the straight line, y minus y1, that is equal to m into x minus x1. So in this formula, x1 and y1 are the coordinates that the line passes through, and this tan tangent passes through the point A and B. And we also know m, m is the gradient of the tangent, and the gradient of the tangent is f prime a. So if we substitute x1, y1 and m into the formula, we'll then get y minus b, and that is equal to f prime a into x minus a. Now remember, a normal is a line which is perpendicular, and remember perpendicular means at right angles to the tangent at that point. So to work out the equation of a normal, we need to use the condition that since the lines are perpendicular, the product of their gradients equate to minus 1. So we need to use this property to work out the gradient of the normal. So I'm taking the gradient of the normal to be m2. So if I rearrange, m2 then will be minus 1 over m1. Now bearing in mind, we already know m1 m1 is the tangent gradient, so m1 in this case was f primed a, so if I substitute m1 by f primed a into the property, m2 will then be minus 1 over f primed a. So remember the idea of m2, m2 is the gradient of the normal, whereas m1 that was the gradient of the tangent. So since the normal passes through the same point as the tangent, so they both pass through the point AB, to find the equation of the normal, we use y minus y1, that is equal to m into x minus x1. Since the normal is also a straight line, we can use this formula that, we've, that we know from coordinate geometry. So with regard to the data, x1 and y1 are the point A and B. And m is the gradient of the normal, which is minus 1 over f prime a. So as a result, we can substitute this data into the formula to give us the equation of the normal, which is y minus b, that is equal to minus 1 over f prime a, x minus a. Now with this being said, I have a couple of examples. So here's example number one. 
find the equations of the tangent and normal to the curve with equation y is equal to 4 root x plus 2 squared divided by 2 root x at the point x equals 1. So back to the paper and pen. So here's the equation of the curve y is equal to 4 root x plus 2 squared over 2 root x and we only have the x coordinate which is 1. To find both the tangent and the normal we need the y coordinate. So to find the y coordinate I'm going to put x equals 1 into the curve equation. So if I put x equals 1 into this curve equation we're going to have y is equal to 4 square root x which is 1 plus 2 so plus 2 squared divided by 2 root so 2 square root and x which is going to be replaced by 1 so if we calculate this 4 root 1 plus 2 is 6 6 squared is 36 divided by 2 into root 1 which is 2 so I make the corresponding y as 18. So that is the y coordinate that we need. So in order to work out the gradient of the tangent, so we need a gradient first, we need to calculate dy by dx from the curve equation. So y in this case, so let me copy this down, it's 4 root x plus 2 squared divided by 2 root x. So let's figure out dy over dx. So in the first video that I did on differentiation I gave you the idea to work out dy over dx for a fraction like this. So let me go through the idea. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the numerator. So in the numerator I have 4 root x plus 2 squared so let's multiply out a 4 root x plus 2 by another 4 root x plus 2. So 4 root x times 4 root x is 16x. 4 root x times plus 2 is plus 8 root x or plus 8 x to the half. 2 into 4 root x that is 8x to the half as well and 2 into 2 is plus 4. So if I add the like terms we're going to have 16x. 8x to the half plus another 8x to the half is 16x to the half plus the 4. So this is the result for when you multiply the top bracket. So let's handle this fraction. So we have 4 root x plus 2 squared divided by 2 root x. So if you have a fraction, the idea is you divide each term in a numerator by the denominator term. So I need to divide each term in a numerator by 2 root x or 2x to the power half in the denominator. So we need to divide 16x by 2x to the half. We also divide 16x to the half by 2x to the half, the denominator term. Finally, dividing the 4 also by 2x to the half. So let's simplify each term separately. 16 over 2 is 8 x to the power 1 divided by x to the power half is x to the power half. So remember, when you divide two terms having the same base, you subtract powers. Plus, so a plus, 16 over 2, 8. These two x to the halves can cancel. Plus again, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 1 over x to the half is x to the power minus half. So remember another rule in indices, x to the power minus n is the same as 1 over x to the n. So I use this very rule in order to bring that x to the power half upwards. 
So what do we have? So we have the simplified form for y. So let me copy this down. So y is 8 x to the power half plus 8 plus the 2 x to the power minus half. So what we need to do now is we need to differentiate and work out dy over dx. So let's calculate dy over dx. So remember when you differentiate, you multiply by the power and subtract one from the power. So the power is half for the first term. Half times eight is four. So it's four x to the power. Then subtract one from the power, half minus one minus half. When you differentiate a constant, it's going to be zero. Finally, when I differentiate 2x to the minus half, multiply by the power, minus half times 2 is minus 1, so it's minus 1x. Then subtract 1 from the power, minus half, minus 1, minus 3 over 2. So this is what you should have for dy over dx. So remember, once you have dy over dx, you need to replace the x-coordinate of the point in dy over dx to work out the gradient of the tangent. So this is what we're going to do for example one. So back to the paper and pen. So let's use that uh, principle to calculate the gradient of the tangent. So the gradient of the tangent so gradient of the tangent, I like to call that m1. So m1 will be, if I put the x value of the point, so the x value given is 1, into dy over dx here, we're going to have 4 into x, which is 1, into minus half, minus the x, so minus x being 1, into minus 3 over 2. So if we simplify it, 4 into 1 into the minus half is 4 minus 1 to the minus 3 over 2 being 1. 4 minus 1 gives us a gradient of 3. We've got the gradient of the tangent, but we also have the x and the y value of the point where the tangent passes through. So the x coordinate being 1 from the question, the y coordinate we calculated as 18. So we have everything that we need to work out the equation of the tangent. So since the tangent is a straight line, let's use the formula y minus y1. That is equal to m into x minus x1. So x1 and y1, the coordinates that the tangent passes through is 80, 1 and 18 rather. So 1 being the x coordinate, 18 being the corresponding y. And m is the value of m1, m1 being the gradient of the tangent, and we calculated that as 3. So let's substitute this data into the formula, giving us y minus y1 is 18. That is equal to m being 3 into x minus and x1 is 1. So if I expand brackets, y minus 18 on the left is equal to 3 into x, 3x. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. And if I take the minus 18 to the opposite side, y will then be 3x plus 15. So this should be the equation of the tangent. So if we go back to the screenshot, in order to find the equation of the normal, first we need to find the gradient of the normal using the fact that the tangent and the normal are perpendicular. So we're going to apply the results m1 times m2 is equal to minus 1. So let's go back to the paper and pen. So let's calculate the gradient of the normal. And I like to use M2 as my normal gradient. So using the fact that the normal and tangent are perpendicular, this implies M1 times M2 is minus 1. And if I rearrange this, M2 then is minus 1 over M1. 
Now M1, remember, is the tangent gradient. So we worked out M1 as 3. So if I replace the M1 by 3, our normal gradient M2 is minus 1 over 3. So minus 1 over 3 should be the gradient of the normal. So remember the idea of the normal. The normal and the tangent are perpendicular to each other, but they both pass through the same point, 1 and 18. So with this being said, let's work out the equation of the normal. So since the normal is a straight line, let's use the formula y minus y1 is m in 2 x minus x1. So x1 and y1, this is the point 1 and 18, whereas m is the value of m2 now, so m2 being the normal gradient, minus 1 over 3. So from here on, let's substitute this data into the formula. So y minus y1 is 18, that is equal to m, which is minus 1 over 3, into x minus, and x1 is 1. Now, if I expand the brackets here, I'm going to have y minus 18, that is equal to minus 1 over 3x, minus 1 over 3 times minus 1 is plus 1 over 3, and if I take that minus 18 to the opposite side, y will then be minus 1 over 3x uh, plus 55 over 3. So this should be the equation of the normal for example 1. So here are the steps involved in order to work out the tangent and the normal. And we use these steps for example number 1. Now, if we go back to the screenshot...